we're going to be working on pecan pie. So let's get started on the crust. Basically, I have ecru, and I'm using a one inch cutter and taking a circle cut. If you don't have a circle cutter, you can roll a ball and just smash it flat. Once you have it smashed flat, you're just cutting the ends off of the triangle. Until you get the size of pie that you want on the bottom. So there we go. And to create the shape of the pie, I place it in a pie pan and press. So that will become the shape of our pie crust. And to give it a more realistic edge, I go along the bottom and I texture just the edges. So I'm texturing the side in there and then the opposite side here just to give you an idea. So from here we're gonna bake it. I'll be back once it's baked. So here's the second part of our pie crust. I peeled off the already cooked portion of the pie crust. I rolled out a thin log of Ecru from Primo and then here we go I take a length right about the same size as the top of the back of our slice of pie and then here's my translucent liquid Sculpey. I have a really big bottle it's eight ounces rather than the tiny ones they have I take a little bit and I coat it on the very back edge of our little pie slice. Kind of act as a glue between the wet, uncured clay and the hard cured clay. So from here, I try to center and press the pie crust on. I fold some of it over the front, trying not to lift it from the back. And then, to smooth out the back so it doesn't look funny, I roll it down with just a rounded tool. This is a double pointed needle, it's used in knitting. And you can actually roll it so thin that you end up not seeing any edges. I'm getting this all on film here for you guys. Okay, so the top looks like this. And what I'm going to do is take my same tool. I usually start with the very center. And I rock in and push. And it brings it down towards the center. I'm going to go towards the edge in the same way. Go on the other side rock and push. From here I usually do one between each little divot and that starts really forming our pie crust. I'll trim any edges away if they overlap. So it's like this. And then I will paint the crust so I'll add yellow ochre to give it that golden color and then I paint a little bit of rust and brown on top of that I don't want too much on there, just a little bit to give it a little toasty edge. 
You might want to put a little bit along the back more than the top too, depending on what you like the look of. And then, so this is our crust. And from here, I bake it one. From here, we're gonna make the pecan pie filling. The pecan pie filling is a whole lot of translucent, and you want a medium brown with some orange. And then um, you may need to add a tiny bit of a dark brown for a little bit more richness. But you're gonna want to mix and look, mix and look, but you want to have a whole lot of translucent in there. This is how I have it once it's done. So in order to attach the pecan filling to my pie crust, I'm adding a little bit more of the TLS, the Translucent Liquid Sculpey. I always seem to have a little around the rim of my bottle from the last use, so I just use that. And I place it on my nice finished pie crust. From here, I have some of the um, some of the pecan filling in a circle, and I start gently pressing it into a ball and flattened ball that is, and I start pressing it. So you see a flattened disc. From here, I start going downwards from the top of the pie crust down, and then I trim along the side to clean it up, because I want a little bit of that bottom pie crust showing where I textured it, and we'll do the same thing with the other side. So this is our pie filling. To texture it, I'm bringing out the toothbrush, which tends to be something I use a lot for texturing. I don't texture it too much. I don't want it all holy. I just kind of rub it back and forth and add a couple little bit of a... I poke it a few times, but I'm mostly running it back and forth. You could always trim it if it got a little bit uh, unruly and started to move on you. So there's this. And it's going to bake a little bit more on the translucent side. So now we just need our pecans. Now we're going to make our pecans. I roll the ecru just a little bit thinner. And these are similar to my little oats from the granola bar. I take a little piece there and I roll it in my fingers. Make a slight oval shape and press. Let me see if I can get this um, on the index finger. Sorry about the uh, camera readjusting and readjusting. So here we have a little oval and I take a pin and go down, then right next to it, I go down. So here is our little pecan. And then you need to get it off your finger carefully. I would suggest waiting until the clay has become a little bit firmer. But once you're done, because our pie is still wet and not cured, I will place them on the pie and I will let them overlap. And you want to put them facing different directions. You'll want to overlap them. And I know these don't quite look like pecans yet, but it will start looking that way 
once you get it all covered and we color them and you can as you see that I'm doing fixing them once they're attached to so I'm gonna go ahead and make a lot more and I will continue to coat the top of my pie and once I have it all coated then we will be back to color them okay so here is how the pecan pie looks with all of the pecans placed I just kind of stack them on top of each other so they face different directions to give it more a natural look now from here we're gonna color them and this time instead of just dusting the top of the pastels I create a couple little chalk piles So from here, I am going to put little spots in different places of the different colors. So I might add yellow in one place, and I'm careful not to get the side. So add yellow in a couple places, but definitely not coating the whole thing. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the rest. I put more of the rest color on than the yellow. And then, and the light looks really funny here because it's getting to be nighttime and evening. But then I add brown because we know how dark the pecans get on the pie. Let's see if we could get a clear picture here. Sorry about the focus on the camera. Can even mix some red with some brown. So we're letting it get kind of dark. And so from here, I would go ahead and bake it. And then after baking it, we're going to varnish it. Now let me show you the um, finished ones. So on the finished ones, it looks pretty sparkly there. But what I do is I take little tiny um, drops of the glaze and I touch them in different areas to try to give it more of the gelatinous look. I don't just sweep the side with the paintbrush. Um, the way the reason it's glistening the way it is is there's some areas that are matte, um, just unfinished clay and areas that have little tiny dots of glaze on them. And then the top I just kind of put a whole glaze on. And sorry that it's gotten so dark. The color doesn't look nice and vibrant the way that it should. But um, there's our pecan pie. And if you want to make it into a charm at the end, you could take a safety pin or a sewing pin and just stab it through the edge of the crust. And then um, you can put the head in after you remove the pin. So thank you all for watching.